I'll turn to Imlarith, you take the crones. Avalark said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlarith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. Damn it! Two out of three! Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toil. You've been busy. It's yours. A witcher's sword. Swallow. Oh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher. Let's try it out then. I'd go anywhere with you. The answer I was hoping for. Go, Geralt. Avalak awaits. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovir. While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well after noon, more often than not in bed and pass the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sought this more than anything else.